With the price of gasoline skyrocketing in recent months, many Americans feeling the pain at the pump. The gas prices increase is, is killing me. Like right now, I, I walk to work because I can't afford to drive. And the U.S. Energy Information Administration now predicting that heat costs could jump by as much as 50 percent this winter. Got a raise and now the heat is going up. It's like I'm not even feeling a raise. The problem, economics experts say, is that typically inflation is driven by excess demand, but not this recent surge. It's generally the case that inflation stems from excess demand. And at the moment, the primary driver of inflation in the United States is a bunch of uh, factors that are operating on the supply side of the economy. Those supply chain problems hitting at the worst time as stores gear up for the holiday shopping season. For toy store owner Mariam El Hamami, it is a no-win situation. The costs go up, there reaches a saturation point where everybody on the supply chain has to increase their costs. Um, and that's where we're at now. Also looming on the horizon, the threat of inflationary psychology setting in, which economics expert and former Fed chair advisor David Wilcox warns could prolong the current economic crisis. Many households never really have experienced a problematic inflation situation. And once it becomes a part of the thought process for households and businesses, that inflation is an ongoing process, it's much more difficult to bring to a halt. And with inflation stretching the wallet, many Americans are feeling the pinch. Honestly, it makes us have to work even twice as hard, three times even, due to the fact because everything is skyrocketing.